Hello, everybody. Welcome to Kriya Yoga Blend. Today, I have a sadhana for us, and it is typically used in the morning. However, it's good for any time of the day. Um, it And I say the word sadhana because it is meant to be a repeated Kriya. So this is something that you would do like every morning. So if you really like it, you'll have this recording available to you for seven days. I would encourage you to go ahead and try it every morning for a week and just see how, see how you feel. Um, let's go ahead and get started. I've got a couple of things in the chat. Um, our typical way we begin our class with Ong Namo, Guru Dev Namo. I have Satnam, I have the translations there, and I have the translation of the Sadna as well. In our practice, we often are sitting a lot. So make sure you've got a meditation cushion or something that feels good. You could always grab a pillow as well. And let's begin by rubbing the hands. Rub the hands, we start rubbing the hands and then we end with this practice and kind of like setting aside the sacred time that is just for you, for physical movement, for self-reflection, taking the time just to get yourself right with your day. You have a fair amount of heat and friction built in the hands. You're gonna bring the hands over the closed eyes. Strong breath in. Exhale, bring the hands over the heart, on the chest. And then connect the pointer finger and the thumb in your Gyan hand mudra. This is invoking or inviting our inner wisdom and our intuition. We'll chant Ong Namo Guru Dev Namo three times. And when I chant, I will probably cut out because of the Zoom settings. That's okay. I want you to keep chanting. Take a full deep breath in. Oh, no, Guru Dev, no. Breath in. Oh. rest in awareness. Breath in. Exhale, open the eyes. Nice. Before we jump into our Kriyas, I just want to review the, the Bandhas. So the Bandhas are translates into locks, and it's like controlling the energy down at the base chakras, the middle chakras, and then the higher chakras. So your Mula Bandha, your root lock, is at the base of the spine. That's the pelvic floor. So I want you to go ahead right now and just pop on the pelvic floor. You're going to squeeze those muscles right at the bottom. And this should feel like a Kegel exercise or the same muscles you would use if you're going to the bathroom, you're gonna stop your flow of urine, same muscles. So just pull up on your root lock, engage that. 
and then let it soften and fully relax. Now we'll do the abdominal lock or the abdominal banda, pull navel in towards the spine and then up towards the breastbone. So that's our abdominal lock or our banda. Hold it there. Hold, hold, hold. And release and soften, let that go. And then the last one is the throat or the neck lock. And for this one, you draw the chin in towards the throat and you reach the crown of the head just like a little bit taller. And so what we're doing here is like we take the energy and we lift up from our lower chakras because there's a lot of creative. This is like the life force down here. This is our creative. This is what propels us individually and as like humankind, all this energy that sits down here in our lower chakras and we're taking that energy and lifting it up into our higher chakras. And go ahead, release neck lock. All right, so that's the bandhas, that's the locks. We'll use those today. Um, and we're gonna use Kashipana hand mudra at some point. Kashipana hand mudra, you interlace all the fingers, let go of the pointers, Kashipana hand mudra, it correlates to our seventh chakra right at the crown of the head and helps with letting go of attachments. So it gets used frequently in um, Kundalini yoga. So those are the bandhas. Um, that's the mudra. We're, we are going to use breath of fire today. And in addition to breath of fire, we'll use just a really strong breath in and a strong breath out. So let's go ahead and we're going to start with this full. Um, morning sadhana that is good for any time of day, but it's specifically um, awesome in the morning. So let's go ahead and get into table. We're going to do a cat cow, but it's going to kind of like amp up. We're going to be here for a few minutes and you have the option to go fast with it. We're going to start slow and then if you want to amp it up, go ahead and do it. If it doesn't feel right in your body, then just stick with a slower place, slower pace. Inhale, cow pose. Sink the belly, lift the chest. Exhale, cat pose. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Strong breath in, strong breath out through the nose. Go ahead, keep moving at your own pace. So I would say right here is kind of a medium pace that we've got going. Now, if you wanted to, it can look more like... So you choose if you want to take this a little bit slower, medium, or you really want to get in there. Keep going. Keep a little softness in your elbows. There's no hyperextending the joint. You're actively pressing away from the mat. can be closed if they are bring your focal point to the third eye 
center of the forehead. You can even connect the tip of your tongue to the roof of your mouth directly behind the top teeth. About one more minute. A little bit more, last 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. We're gonna hold cow on one, two, one. Inhale, cow pose. Exhale out the mouth. Just hold. Breath in. Exhale, shift right into child pose and keep the knees in place. Walk the hands forward. Rest in awareness. Breath in, exhale, come back to table. We've got another move right here in table. If you are feeling your wrists, you can always go ahead and make a fist and have your big knuckles coming down to the mat for this next one. So you're gonna kick the right leg back and then bring it in rounding. So it's gonna be an inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. And this is just the right leg to start. You're going to get into a rhythmic breath pattern, just like with that cat cow. Strong inhale, strong exhale through the nose. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, switching sides in two and one. Plant the right knee down, kind of reset as needed, and then get going left side. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, open. Close, open, close. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Going to child's pose in two and one. Child's pose. Rest in awareness. Each and every time I ask you to rest in awareness, you are noticing your physical body, you're noticing any shift in energy or sensation. You're noticing the thoughts in your mind and the emotions in your heart. Breath in. Exhale, come into a seated position. Now this next one, you can be in uh, rock pose. Rock pose is sitting on the feet or the heels, or you can be in seated with the ankles crossed. Um, know that we're gonna be here for a little while, not, um, not as long as sometimes we are, but a little while. We're gonna take the arms up. Yeah, let me check this. Always want to kind of make sure that we are Okay, so the arms are gonna come up and we're gonna inhale right, exhale left. We're gonna start slow and then it's gonna get more rhythmic, just like that cat cow. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Also, you can connect in your Gyan hand mudra here. Bring your forearm or your first finger and your thumb together. <sighs> Elbow stay lifted. Now this is kind of a medium pace. It could also go a little faster. It can look like. <laughs> now if you're choosing that, your range of motion is probably gonna be a little bit smaller. That's okay. Close the eyes. Bring your focal point to your third eye, center of your forehead. bit more. Last 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bring the hands, palms down. Rest in awareness. Breath in, exhale, open the eyes. So we're gonna stay right here, either in seated, sitting flat with the feet flat or tuck the toes under. I'm gonna tuck my toes under just to give my feet a nice stretch. So that looks like this, with the toes tucked under, sitting on the heels. And now we're gonna do um, a spinal flex in this pose right here. Looks like Inhale, lift, exhale, round. Inhale, lift, exhale, round. It's gonna be a strong breath. 
And if you want to add in Sat Nam as a chant, and that can be to yourself, inhale Sat, exhale Nam, Sat, Nam, Sat, Nam, Sat, Nam, Sat, Nam, Sat, Nam. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Keep going. Close your eyes. Connect with your third eye. Bring the tip of your tongue to the roof of your mouth, just behind the top teeth. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Rest in awareness. Breath in, exhale, shift forward into downward facing dog. Spread the fingers nice and wide, press the floor away. You can start with a little softer knee here, drawing chest and belly closer to the thighs. Ears lying with biceps, your shoulders are externally rotating, so they kind of hug in or they hug out. They're externally rotating. Keep a little softness in the elbows. You can find movement, you can find stillness in this downward dog, especially if it's morning time. You want to give yourself a little extra time here. <sighs> Inhale, bend your knees. Exhale to ragdoll pose, feet step wide. Release the upper body, let it just hang. If movement would feel good, go ahead and find some movements. Breath in, exhale, bring the feet back together, forward fold, hold it here. Halfway lift, hands come to shins, shoulder blades together and down, crown of the head reaching long. Take a breath in, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain pose, reverse dive all the way up. Exhale, bring the hands to the heart. 
All right, so our next little Kriya here is going to be um, a mountain to a forward fold, and we're going to have a little back bend in there as well. So it's going to look like this. You're going to inhale, open, kind of open the heart, look up, keep your belly engaged, so that way your low back is supported. And then exhale, forward fold all the way down. Inhale, reverse dive all the way back up. Open the heart space. You can take the arms a little bit wider or more up towards the ceiling. Find what feels good for you. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale it back up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift, open. Exhale, forward fold. Keep moving with your own breath. Now, because we're doing this really repeated mountain to forward fold, I want you to think about the core strength piece. So every time you move, really you're engaging your core first. So from your forward fold, as you lift up, pull your belly in. So then when you open, you still have that core strength and your low back supported. As you dive down, your belly is also still engaged. So think about this movement as really stemming from the core. Now, depending on where you are in your day, if it's evening and your body's just more warmed up, maybe you can open the heart a little bit more. Maybe you want to go deeper into this back bend. If it's a morning time and you're a little bit stiffer, you might want to just be a little softer, a little more gentle with your back bend. Let's do, let's do 10 more. Funny story, I lost count. I got into it and I just lost my count. Let's do two more. Last one. Hold your forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, chaturanga. Plant the hands, jump or step back. Can be on the feet or the knees. Lunge forward, lower down, elbows hug. Inhale, I'm gonna go with just a baby cobra because it is morning time for me. And exhale into down dog. All right, let's roll through a few sun salutations with our chaturangas. Inhale, bend your knees. Exhale, forward fold, top of your mat. You can jump or step. Inhale, half lift. Forward fold. Mountain pose all the way up. Hands to the heart. Let's do it again. Inhale, mountain, reach up. Forward fold, half lift, chaturanga, jump, step back, lunge forward, lower down, elbows, hug the body, come up, maybe a bigger cobra feels okay, check in with your low back, keep that belly engaged, squeeze the glutes, exhale, downward facing dog. Do that once more. Inhale, bend your knees. 
jumper step, top of your mat, forward fold, halfway lift, forward fold, mountain pose, hands to the heart, inhale mountain, reach up, forward fold, halfway lift, Chaturanga. Down dog. Hold our down dog. Breath in. Exhale, come down to the knees. Flip the feet around. Now we're going to open up the legs. So we're going to open up the legs nice and wide and you're going to have your hands either on your shins your big toes or you could use a strap if you had two straps you could loop one foot have the strap here loop the other foot have the strap here so with this next kriya we're going to inhale lift we did this last week too inhale lift exhale drop the head down towards the right kneecap towards the right shin inhale lift come back exhale drop the left Drop the head down towards the left kneecap. Now with this one, I think I'm gonna sit up on a little pillow here um, to give my hips a little height over my knees. So if you're feeling like you can't really sit up tall with your legs wide like that, then grab your meditation cushion, grab a pillow, just give yourself a little bit of height. It helps you to be able to sit up without having all this rounding in the back for sure. So get yourself situated or get me, I'll get situated. Maybe you're waiting for me. Inhale, lift, exhale, inhale, center, exhale, opposite side. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Keep moving. And this is a really strong breath in through the nose, out through the nose. After you've got the movement, close the eyes, bring your focal point to the third eye. Last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, sit up tall. Exhale, now melt down the center. I'm gonna hold it right here.
breath in. Exhale, walk the hands back. Now you're bring the soles of the feet together. And you can loop a strap here if you need to. You can grab your shins, you can grab your feet. You're just gonna bounce. You're gonna bounce the knees a little bit. Stay so sitting up really nice and tall. Keep flowing. You can definitely tell it's morning time in my body. Sure, you're sitting up nice and tall. You can close the eyes, connect with the third eye. Last breath in and exhale, let that go. We're gonna stick right here and now we're gonna hinge forward, keep the back flat and then come back. I'm just gonna turn so you can see. So we're gonna try not to round the back with this one. And if you need to adjust where the feet are, you can always bring the feet farther out or if you like them closer in, find what works for you. You're gonna inhale, lift, exhale, hinge. See my back is really nice and flat. You can even find a little bit of a neck lock here. Pull the neck in towards the throat. Come back, go forward. Come back and go forward. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, and our last one, we're gonna melt all the way down. Two, last one, melt all the way down. You're gonna go as far as feels comfortable. Let the crown drop down. Breath in, exhale, come back. Now you're gonna straighten the legs. Actually keep a little bend in the knee, sit up tall, breath in, exhale, melt down. So you're gonna roll down. On the back, you're gonna bend the knees, plant the feet. We're gonna move into some pelvic lifts or bridge work. 
So we're going to just roll in and out of a bridge um, quite a few times. So hands along the sides of the body. Make sure you set up nice so that the knees track over the ankles when you're rolled up into your bridge. We're going to do this um, a little bit of a more of a Pilates style where we're really articulating the spine. So press your low back into the mat, roll your tailbone up, and then you're going to roll back down, starting with the upper back, middle back, low back, tailbone. As soon as your tailbone hits the floor, rolling up, and then rolling down. So that is, keep moving. So that's more of a Pilates style, roll up and roll down with the, the bridge work. Uh, now, if you wanted to, you could just try uh, more of the kundalini style is like a lift and a lower, a lift and a lower, a lift and a lower. There's nothing wrong with either one of them. They're just different and you're kind of targeting different things. So try both and then see which one you like. If you're wanting more of a controlled mindful movement, I would go with that Pilates style bridge. If you're wanting just to kind of work a little bit more on strength, then I would go with the Kundalini style bridge where we're just lifting, lowering, lifting, lowering. In both of these, I want you to keep your focal point towards the ceiling because there does get to be a little bit of pressure at the base of the neck. Strong breath in, strong breath out through the nose. Hopefully you're starting to feel your hamstring, your glutes, maybe your inner thighs. At the top, always give your glutes a little squeeze. Squeeze, squeeze, lift the hips up. Squeeze. So kundalini, I'm just going to talk since we're going to be here for a little bit. Kundalini is really this physical practice and really all of yoga is it's a physical practice that helps to shift and create energy um, within the emotions, the mind, the chakras. So it's like the physical body, the different movements in the body helps to stir and wake things up that could be lying dormant or just to like energize and kind of get things going. Last little bit, last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Rest in awareness. Let the legs go long. Just close the eyes. Take just like a mini shavasana. Breath in, mm, breath out. Okay, let's draw the right knee in towards the chest. Our next Kriya is going to be kind of, it's kind of like a bicycle, but we're not crossing. It's just gonna be an in and an out and the head, neck and shoulders are gonna stay on the, the floor. So you're gonna hug the right knee in, breath, exhale, switch, inhale. Exhale. So you're just going to switch right to left. And the legs are going to go long. They're not going to rest on the mat anymore. If this does not feel good in your low back, take the legs higher. Makes it a little easier on the low back. If it feels OK and you're wanting the challenge, the legs are going to skim the mat. And you're going in and out, in and out, in, out, in, out. In Kundalini philosophy, 
um, they believe that there is this coil of energy that sits at the base of your spine. And through your kundalini practice, through the bandhas, the locks, um, all the breath work, you uh, release. You release that coil of energy and it goes up your spine. <sighs> Now, if you wanted more of this, you could roll the head, neck, and shoulders off the mat and get into your abdominals even more. Hug the knees one at a time back to the chest. Then we're going to rock and roll. Rock and roll front to back. Tuck the chin. Massage out the length of the spine. Keep rocking. Keep rolling. When you're ready, you're going to rock and roll all the way forward into your version of a cobra. So it could be baby cobra, full cobra, it could even be an upward facing dog, whatever your back is feeling today. Or you could do a sphinx pose too. So sphinx pose is elbows under shoulders, lift the heart. And now we're gonna add a breath of fire to our cobra. Breath in, exhale it out. Inhale halfway, exhale breath of fire. Last little bit here, last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, exhale it out. Pull up on your pelvic floor, your abdominals. Now draw your chin in towards your throat. Slowly release, let yourself melt back down towards your mat. Breath in, exhale, come on to the knees. Come on to the knees, sweep the hands behind you, interlace the fingers, inhale, sit up tall, exhale. You're gonna melt down, melt the crown down and let the hands fall behind you as far as feels comfortable. And if it doesn't feel comfortable, you're just going to let the hands rest on the low back. So that's another choice. Going down and lifting up. Yeah. <sighs> 
last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, sit up tall, bring the hands to the tops of the thighs, full deep breath in, hold the breath, pull up on pelvic floor, abdominals, and draw the chin in towards the throat, lift, lift, lift. Exhale, release. Come into a seated position. We're gonna do a little bit for the upper body before we finish with our morning sadhana today. So our next move is gonna be both arms up, inhale, come down, and then you're gonna come in cross, right arm over left to start, come back, lift, down, cross, the same left goes over right. So down, up, down, cross, down, cross. So one time you go right, the next time you go left. So it's lift, down, cross, down. Actually, there's a lift in there in between the crosses, my bad. So you're gonna lift, come down, cross, down, up, down, cross, down, up, down, cross, down, up, down, cross, down. Keep moving at your own pace. And then each time you're alternating, um, right arm on top and then left arm on top. <sighs> After you've got the movement, you're adding a breath. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. <sighs> Keep going. So if you notice with this um, morning practice, we are really like hitting a little bit of everything. If you like this today, um, but maybe you don't have an hour every morning, you could take the moves and do like 30 seconds or one minute of each move. And it would be an awesome way to start the day. going. up to the ears. You're going to wring out any tension that you've been holding there. Exhale. We'll let it drop. Inhale, lift up, shrug. Exhale, drop. Inhale, lift and shrug. Exhale, drop. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Go ahead, bring the hands together in the front. You're gonna interlace the fingers. Kashipana hand mudra. Um, let go of the pointers, interlace all the rest. And now you're gonna inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. <sighs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Keep going. bit more. Last 10. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Last one. Hold the arms up. Hold the arms right here. Pull up on the pelvic floor, the abdominals, and draw the chin in towards the throat so you've applied all your locks. Lift your energy all the way up. Lift, 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 lift through your fingertips and the crown of your head. You can imagine it as like a beam of light going from the tip of your tailbone, blowing through the crown of your head and up through your fingertips. Hold, hold, hold. Lift, lift, lift. And release. Hands, palms down. Rest in awareness. Breath in. And exhale, open the eyes. Before we end our practice, we're going to do just a little bit more for the neck. We're going to do some neck rolls. So drop your right chin down or your right ear down to your shoulder. And then slowly bring the chin down to the chest and roll, bringing the left ear to left shoulder. We're going to do half neck rolls. So now we're going to go back. Right ear, right shoulder, roll down. Left ear, left shoulder. And now I want you to find a sweet spot with your right ear towards right shoulder. Find a sweet spot. Hold there. You can make any adjustments if you like to reach the arm. Breath in, exhale, slowly roll, left ear towards the left, shoulder, find a sweet spot here, hold. And gently roll the head back towards center. Now you're going to take your right or your left hand, bring your fingertips to the center of your forehead, and now press your head back in alignment with your spine. Let that go. So to end our practice today, it's just a little bit different. No Shavasana. We're going to end with the meditation. So you can bring the hands anywhere that feels good or comfortable. You could connect in Gyan Hand Mudra. You could... Just let the hands rest in the lap. We're going to end with um, a meditation. And so the meditation is very simple. On the inhale, you are thinking sat, S-A-T to yourself. And on your exhale, you are thinking nam and am. That's I am truth. And that's our meditation. We'll be here for maybe like a minute or two. Sit up really nice and tall. Inhaling sat, exhaling nam.
last breath in. Exhale, let that go. All right, let's end our practice the way we've started it. We're gonna rub the palms together. Once you've got that heat, bringing the palms over the closed eyes, healing in this practice. Open the hands over the heart. Connect the hands at prayer. We're gonna end with one long sat nam. The sat is very long and the nam is very short. Take a long deep breath in. Sat And before we go, we have an offering to the world. You can repeat after me as you wish. May all sentient creatures have health and happiness. May all sentient creatures have love and compassion. And may all sentient creatures be free from pain and suffering. Let's bow forward in gratitude. All right, friends, thank you so much for joining me. That was our morning sadhana. If you loved it, it's available to you for seven days. You could do it every day this week, or you could take it and shorten it down and take every piece and do it maybe just for like a minute as a part of your wake up routine. Have a great day.